Stephen Hawking once said that humanity will only survive if it finds a new home planet within the next 100 years. Today, we'll take a look at some of the exciting destinations our galactic home has in store for us. We'll embark on a journey that has so far only existed in theory, computer simulations, and exciting dreams. And it will take us right to the heart of the Milky Way. But what really lies hidden among the countless stars and the overwhelming spiral arms of our home galaxy? What wondrous structures, phenomena, and secrets await us on this incomprehensibly long journey? Be sure to stay tuned until the end and find out with us. First of all, we hope you've brought a little time with you today. After all, the center of the Milky Way is a whopping 26,000 light years away from us, or in other words, a good 245 quadrillion kilometers. A space probe like Voyager 1, which races through space at a speed of around 61,000 kilometers per hour, would therefore take over 4 trillion years to cover this immense distance. By way of comparison, the universe itself is only 13.8 billion years old. However, the aging Voyager probes are not the fastest man-made objects of all time. That title goes to Parker Solar Probe, which set a new speed record of an insane 692,000 kilometers per hour a few months ago. Well, even in this case, we would still need to be patient before reaching the heart of our galactic home, because at the end of the day, even NASA's Icarus would need more than 40 billion years to get there. And even a hypothetical spacecraft traveling at the speed of light, which it could never do in reality, would still be on its way for 26,000 years. But let's not get bogged down by such trifles as the laws of physics and insurmountable distances. Let's achieve in a few minutes what would take a spaceship countless ages. So we start from Earth, one of thousands of known planets in the Milky Way, located in a quiet spiral arm orbiting an ordinary, medium-sized star. And as soon as we leave our Earthly home and pass the Moon, we have already set a new record. As we all know, no astronaut has ever made it beyond our constant companion. Despite all this, we know that the solar system contains not only countless moons, but also eight planets, asteroids, comets, and dwarf planets. All these structures are embedded in the so-called heliosphere, a bubble of charged particles from the solar wind that shields us like a protective shield against cosmic radiation and particle bombardment from interstellar space. At the outer edge of the solar protective wall, however, we eventually encounter the heliopause, the dynamic boundary region where the influence of the solar wind comes to an end. This is where the transition to interstellar space officially begins, or in other words, the space far away from stars that lies between the stellar outgrowths of the cosmos. And while the Voyager probes have been busy for several years now, trying to shed some light on this unexplored world, the journey naturally continues. Shortly afterwards, we reach the Oort Cloud, a huge hypothetical area of ice and rock fragments that lies far beyond the heliopause in interstellar space and is believed to be the origin of long-period comets. At the same time, the Oort Cloud also marks the outer edge of our home system and thus forms the gateway to one of the strangest areas of our cosmic neighborhood. Inside the Local Bubble once we leave the solar system, we find ourselves in what is known as the local bubble, a largely dust-free area in the interstellar environment of the Sun, which is not a circular bubble, but rather resembles an hourglass in shape. Basically, the local bubble has a diameter of at least 300 light-years in the galactic plane and expands with increasing distance. In simple terms, one could say that we are simply dealing with a colossal cavity in the interstellar medium filled with neutral hydrogen and a very thin and hot plasma. When it comes to the question of how this super bubble was formed, researchers suspect that it was created a few hundred thousand to millions of years ago by one or more supernova explosions. However, the local bubble also contains the local interstellar cloud or local flake, the structure of interstellar matter that the solar system is currently passing through. As a result of this constellation, the local flake not only influences the shape of the heliosphere, but possibly also our cosmic climate. We then continue our journey through the local interstellar environment, more precisely through the Orion arm of the Milky Way, 
which contains not only our home system, but also nearby stars, such as Alpha Centauri and Proxima Centauri. And it might actually be worth taking a closer look at this point. After all, the larger Alpha Centauri system, which includes Proxima Centauri b, is home to the closest known exoplanet to Earth. And this is not just any celestial body. It's a world that is excitingly suspected of being habitable. Whether life has already blossomed there is uncertain, but what is certain is that the Orion Arm also contains star nurseries such as the Orion Nebula and the Pleiades, which impressively demonstrate the elemental processes of the cosmic factories. Of star nurseries, globular clusters, and an invisible force. Next, we cross the Sagittarius Arm, which, although one of the smaller spiral arms of the Milky Way, is also one of its most clearly visible offshoots. This is because it's home to many young stars and enormous molecular clouds, such as the Eagle Nebula and the Lagoon Nebula. Stars are formed there in huge clusters, accompanied by intense radiation, protostars, accretion disks, and high-energy jets. However, it is in the nature of things that every stellar beginning eventually comes to an end. And so it is that supernova remnants, such as the colorful Crab Nebula, testify that not even stars are spared from destruction. Between the spiral arms, we glide through the thin interstellar medium, a mixture of atomic hydrogen, plasma, and dust. However, our flight path is also influenced by something we cannot see at all, and which is one of the most mysterious forces in the entire universe. This refers, of course, to dark matter. Although its existence has not yet been directly proven, but only determined through its interaction with gravity. Our models suggest that it makes up about 85% of all matter in the cosmos. More precisely, dark matter is postulated in the standard model to explain the motion of visible matter, above all, the speed at which stars orbit the center of their galaxy. Furthermore, this mysterious form of matter also has a significant influence on the spiral shape of the Milky Way and thus ultimately determines the large-scale dynamics of the galaxy. However, as we continue toward the galactic center, we notice that we encounter globular clusters more and more frequently. These are dense, spherical clusters of hundreds of thousands of ancient stars that are among the oldest structures in the Milky Way. These so-called Population II stars contain only very small amounts of heavy elements and, as the second generation of stars in the universe, form an important part of the cosmic family tree. Globular clusters such as Omega Centauri, Messier 13, and 47 Tucanae orbit the center of the Milky Way in wide, often elliptical paths. But around 10,000 light years before the galactic heart, the overall structure changes dramatically. At this point, we enter the region of the galactic bar, an elongated collection of stars that form a kind of bar or beam running across the center and extending several thousand light years along the galactic plane. The bar acts like a star shovel wheel that can direct gas toward the center, contributing to the formation of new stars or the activity of our central black hole. The stars here move in complex elliptical orbits. The gravity is strong, the radiation intense, and our journey inevitably becomes more turbulent. The bulge arrival at the central sea of stars. We now reach the bulge of the Milky Way, and thus the centrally bulging region, which presents itself as a densely populated area of old stars. However, there is also some younger star populations here, but exactly how many of these glistening bright celestial bodies are located here cannot be said with absolute certainty. Estimates range from 10 to 30 billion stars, a rather large spread which is due to the fact that we are looking at the bulge from the inside and our view is obstructed by the dense veils of dust and gas of the galactic plane. Added to this is the fact that the bulge cannot be clearly distinguished from the bar and the inner disk. But then, and this is the exciting part, we finally arrive at the center of the Milky Way. But what awaits us here? Well, nothing less than one of the most surreal features in the entire universe, Sagittarius A star a supermassive black hole. With an event horizon diameter of around 25 million kilometers, this gravitational monster weighs in at around 4.3 million solar masses. And in 2022, 
It was even captured on camera for the first time by the Event Horizon Telescope. However, we can consider this comparatively quiet mass monster our own. Since it currently accretes very little matter, there are only occasional bursts of X-rays. In fact, we still find stars in the immediate vicinity of the black hole, such as S2, which, on its extreme orbit, offers us unique insights into the curvature of space-time. If you want to travel further, you have to cross the bulge on the other side and move away from the heart of our home galaxy again. There, the next spiral arm begins, and the journey repeats itself in reverse order. And yet, our detour to the center of the Milky Way was much more than just a mundane flight from A to B. We learned about the structure of our galaxy, from the solar system to interstellar clouds, star factories, globular clusters, and the colossal central black hole. And in fact, this makes us realize once again where we actually are at this moment, and what breathtaking wonders the universe has truly created. And now you can click on the subscribe button. Simply press the thumbs up and subscribe to never miss a new video from us again.